Hey guys, so this is my painting, fairy number 11. I have uh, since restarted the series and put it back on break. If you guys remember my videos from a while ago, I was working on this little fairy series, which was originally kind of like an eye study, but it ended up progressing into, I would slap a random element in there I wanted to work with more. Just a little bit. Sometimes it's just I want to do something a little kooky. I find it really, really, really important to kind of try to work outside the box every now and again. Um, I've been doing that my last many paintings, which you guys are far from seeing those videos, but this series was definitely growth on that whole concept. When you sit there and you do the same things over and over again, it, it kind of gets dull. Like even like my hands, I might find that I forgot how to draw hands because I've been drawing them the same way or certain characters the same way for a long time. When the series, to a degree, I've also been playing around with eye styles, which on occasion, depending on what I'm painting, I might have changed it up like my ghost. I started giving them these weird little droopy eyes, but like I wanted to kind of, to a degree, make them a little less featured. It was kind of like a design option I went with. Even though they look a little weird. But I think it's important to like really try to challenge yourself in every painting or drawing or whatever, even if it's something so minute, something you think you might want to do. Like, granted, it can be incredibly frustrating if it doesn't work out. You can't think that it isn't going to work out. You just got to do it. And then the next time you do it, you do it a little better. And it's just this endless train of progression, which seems to be you know, my art in general. And you can look back on my paintings ages ago and they're nowhere near as good and I'm actually really embarrassed and want those videos or pictures on the internet to go away. I don't like looking at them. And I find myself really happy with the kind of stuff I've been putting out, but then other times I go through these little fits where I'm less than amused and I'm I'm ready just to just walk away and burn it all down to the ground because I just don't want to stare at the paintings anymore and I'm not content with what I'm doing. And then I go in this like little hyperdrive where I just work on a bunch of things really quick and then I get a little bit more inspired because those paintings when I do try things and they work out and they work out really well, they're amazing. I find that through like my art career, like I picked up little things along the way that I knew they were supposed to be this way, but I never necessarily applied them or thought about why I was applying them and how I was applying them wrong. And it really pays off to kind of just think things out sometimes. And uh, working on this series was great. Um, like for this one, I was, I didn't actually think about it, but I was probably just working on kind of like a fur texture, even though I didn't get all that in depth with it. Like I'm a huge fan of moths, like I've always adored them. Like screw butterflies, like moths are fluffy and furry and delightful. I, and I, I always love Mothra, it's my favorite Godzilla monster. Like every time there was a Mothra versus I loved it on TV. So I would expect in the next upcoming videos to see more of these fairies as I've been working on them. Originally it was, like I said, about eyes and then it ended up going into hair and then just random elements I just keep slapping in there that I want to work on. And I even did uh, various themed ones with a, like a fish girl, kind of love craft inspired and a, a ghost girl because why not like this this fairy book is going to be a train wreck because I planned on 
when I was entirely done with the series, at least probably with 30, 40, who knows, I was going to release a coloring book alongside with an art book. Which hopefully isn't my first art book. I've been working on an art book for uh, ages, or at least saying I have been, but right now all my older art I probably don't want to put in book format anymore. The, the stag classics. You know, most of these times when I do these videos, I'm kind of just watching the little slider and kind of rambling until it runs out and then I like wrap it up real quick. But I've been really kind of thinking about what to do with my YouTube channel. Like I'm, I absolutely suck at uh, sticking to a schedule with videos. I would like to. I'm. I'll probably try to get back into some type of a normalcy, is that a word? I certainly hope it's a word because I just used it, but uh, with, with these uploads anyway, like I want to get back into some type of schedule. Even though I, ne I don't think I ever actually had a set day I posted videos, but I was posting like one or two a week back in the heyday, if anyone remembers that. It was a dark, dark time, probably. But I'm, I've been kind of thinking and I want to start working on some different types of videos. I don't just want to do the time lapses. So maybe, possibly, in a few days, the little video fairy will come and we'll drop a weird kind of video. It has to do with art. But uh, not necessarily a time lapse. Like, I normally stream my art on Twitch, and if you guys want to watch me paint live, fortunately you have to go over to Twitch. But, uh, I'm there most nights streaming, painting, drawing, um, sometimes working in coloring book illustrations. You guys can hang out, chat, whatever. I answer questions and all that fun stuff. But most of the time, I'm just a terrible person. And we're just killing time and talking and joking around, of course. The jolly times. Like, I honestly feel like the most boring person on the earth, and I don't know why anyone would watch any videos. Like, to a degree, I like my art. I like what's going on, otherwise I wouldn't paint it. That's why I like stopped taking commissions for a long time because it's just it's so much better to work on a painting for me. Unfortunately, people don't like them as much as you know other stuff I would probably do. I've been working on these like vampire mermaids for a while, and uh, to me. The concept sounded amazing, and I was so excited about it. But I don't, I don't necessarily know how people feel. Oh well. Like I know my art's kind of been all over the place and can get a little bipolar at times. Um. For a long time, I was doing kind of like quirky stuff, which I'm still doing quirky stuff. Half the stuff I do, you might not realize it is a freaking dad joke made by some kind of weird goth girl. Like, it's just kind of out there. Um, but I know my art has been shifting more to a darker side, and I've always kind of used to teeter back between, like, fantasy art and this dark art. And I guess for a while I went back to fantasy, and then it just kind of went off into this lowbrow tangent of uh, just more kind of weird, but PG oriented. Um, and I honestly think it probably has something to do with my daughter growing up that now I'm just like reverting back to the dark side because, you know, she's edgy, she's fun, even though she's only going to be nine soon. And I, and I get it, like, I'm not everyone's cup of tea, my art's not everyone's cup of tea, and that is that's something that's probably hard for artists. Um, 
I know when people first start in down the art path and it's like random critiques or someone doesn't like something and they say it like it really bothers artists but you really can't let things bother you see I rambled I rambled throughout this entire video and now I'm watching the slider get to the end so I'm probably gonna wrap this up now well thank you guys for watching <laughs> In case you wondered what I poured on top of her eyes, um, it's airbrush medium. I'll probably do a video to cover that because it's like my new favorite thing instead of using water on acrylic paints. <laughs> because that's actually a terrible thing to do is use water to thin the acrylic paints, which I had been doing for years. But anyway, guys, um, thank you for watching. And, uh, yeah, subscribe if you want more. I'll try to ramble at you some more and uh, get some more videos out here soon. And... As always, you can watch me on Twitch as I'm painting live and sometimes butchering paintings live and I'm fixing said paintings live. Every now and again you might see a video where like I just change an entire color of a background something which is really bad to do once you've already painted the character by the way I hate painting around the characters well it's not really bad it's just I'm kind of lazy at times so I don't really want to do it so I try to work less but I have actually started to uh, you guys may have noticed in some videos where, or at least in some upcoming videos where I sit down and actually paint everything together for a change. A lot of my older stuff, I would paint the background entirely first and then put the character on it. The problem with that is it makes it a little harder to plan certain elements and like say I was painting this tree and I'm like that's a beautiful tree in the background. Like I really admire the way that is and then the character goes over it or the hand goes over this like tricycle or whatever I know I had an issue in my one fallout painting where I put like a tricycle before I added the character the the girl and uh, dog meat and the tricycle was covered up and so like, you don't have the same amount of flow like the background should work with the character in theory theory You guys want to know how pro I am, by the way? Um, so I'm rambling more because I realized when I got to near the end of the video that her hair just mysteriously had all- was all worked and nice and it, it like went from no line definition to like all the line definition. So I had to go find some missing footage and like lace that back in here. Anyways, guys, anyways, I will see you next time. Thanks for hanging out and watching me paint again. And uh, you can find me on Twitch once again. I will definitely have some more videos up soon. And uh, you can find me on Patreon where I do monthly subscription packages. I'd like to thank all my patrons for helping make YouTube possible. And uh, You can also find the prints of the paintings that I am normally working on in my shop at lowbrowmisfits.com. Thank you guys again, I will catch you next time.